Thanksgiving Day now just a few days away and a veteran is giving back to other vets this holiday. Yes, please welcome veteran and executive chef at FIA Restaurant Santa Monica, Scott Erickson. Scott, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you for your service first thank and you. foremost. Thank you. Um, so you guys are hosting a lunch for about 40 members of U.S. Vets. <clears throat> Tell us a little bit about this organization. Uh, so U.S. Vets, uh, it's an organization, they're helping out um, veterans and some of their family members who uh, just have a little bit of trouble transitioning out of the service. Um, it's really hard to get out sometimes. You, uh, you're one track mind on what you have to accomplish and when you come out of that into the civilian sector, they're just, the lanes just aren't as clear as they used to be. So sometimes you just have a little bit of a hard time getting through that. Um, and then they also help out with some of the, uh, the homeless veteran population that we have here in LA, getting them housing. There's some new housing that's being built at the West LA VA uh, Medical Center um, that's gonna help house them. Um, so when we hit our five year mark, uh, owner Michael Greco and our, uh, public relations wanted to do something to give back to the community. And the first thing that I came up, up with my mind being a veteran myself is I always want to help out everyone else that has served as well. So we're going to be putting together a lunch. It's actually going to be tomorrow at 11. Um, there's going to be a similar salad to what I'm going to show you guys today. I'm going to get them some nice chicken parmesan, a little go. tiramisu for dessert, a little bit of pumpkin cheesecake. And a rutabaga awesome. salivating. Yeah, just yeah. I, yeah. I am still salivating. Yeah, it's and it's, it's really special as a former mm -hmm. Marine yourself. Yeah. Uh, or I guess you're always a Marine. Um, <laughs> it's really special that you are doing something so close to your own heart. Yeah. So show us what we're making. Absolutely. Um, so first thing I'm going to give you guys is uh, some Thanksgiving must for me. This is my absolute favorite side dish, and my wife loves it. It's just uh, real simple, crispy sauteed mushrooms with Brussels sprouts. Okay. I usually uh, peel the individual leaves of the Brussels sprouts, but for speed and efficiency, if are you want to do it at home. mushrooms in there? Mushrooms, oh, yeah. Oh, got it, okay. You pick whatever mushrooms you want. These ones are maitake mushrooms. It's kind of like a little cluster oyster mushroom. Yeah. Chop them nice and thin, get a little bit of olive oil in your hot pan, get them nice and crispy, as much pepper and salt as you want, and then at the very end, you throw in a couple pieces of butter and toss the Brussels sprout leaves. No, I love that Brussels so sprout dishes, yeah. but they're so hard to make, in my opinion. This like they never turn out, comes. and I love how delicately yeah. shaved and I know, sliced it they are. That's as easy as it comes. And then uh, we have a mac and cheese. I love having mac and cheese at any big family gathering. Okay. It's a must. And then uh, just a real simple arugula salad. Uh, I've got everything pre cut up. We just have some red onion. So this is something that everyone can make. Anyone. Yes. Anyone can have make this. Else some make cherry tomatoes, it. some shaved radishes. A I was telling him, of, uh, I like how thin the radish is. Sometimes yes. it's like too thick and sometimes the radish can this? taste like This is a... just fennel. Oh, fennel. Um, so to get things really nice and thin, we use what's called a micro, uh, um, a microplane or a, uh, a mandolin. Okay. Uh, mandolins okay. are just a single blade that's just fixed into a setting and you adjust it to get a different variance of the uh, thickness that you're looking for. Were you a, a chef or a vet first? Uh, both. I was actually both a chef first. Um, I okay. went to uh, the, the Cordon Bleu School in Chicago in 2007, and about six months into my one-year program, my best friend from high school calls me up and is like, hey, do you want to come into the Marine Corps with me? And I'm like, oh, where were you six months like ago? Like as if he was inviting oh, wow. you to dinner uh, He was inviting me, yeah, just like he was inviting me to dinner. <laughs> we, both, uh, we both grew up in military families. His dad is a Marine Corps vet and actually helped develop the Marine Corps martial arts program. Oh, that looks good. Uh, my family, dad was Army, both grandparents Army. I got a cousin in the Air Force, so Marines. Yeah, well, one more thing, you, were, you uh, teased us a little bit about this pasta. You said it's a way to entertain the kids as well Perfect when you're cooking. way to entertain the kids, because I was always 40 seconds. 40 seconds. <laughs> There's your salad, real That's quick. This is delicious. Semolina well, flour, about a cup, water. You put in about a quarter of a cup and then you mix it all together until it forms a dough ball just for speed. I made some extra ones okay. ahead of time. Perfect. And you literally take a butter knife, cut out a chunk, and the kids can do a Play-Doh snake. Oh, there you go. That's fun. You literally, we this is gonna like be or a keti, which means little ears. You make a Play-Doh snake, take your butter knife, oh, I think I know cut off going. a little chip, and then you just roll it on the butter knife. Oh, I love it. And invert it. And then wow. you have little ears. That's how it's Toss done. Toss it in some butter, a little bit of cheese. That's amazing. And you just, nice and simple, you can keep the kids entertained while you make everything else. Good fam yeah, exactly, good family this fun activity. This is my activity. favorite, easiest pasta to do. It's literally semolina flour, water, pinch of salt. Thank good you know. so much, That's simple it. is better. We appreciate it and thank you thank for you. your service thank and you all you're doing uh, for the vets yes, too. And absolutely. for more information on how to support US vets, check out our website, kcalnews.com and click scene on TV.